Okay, today guys, I have my two helpers here. I have Cora and Eliana, and they're gonna help me make some homemade paint. Since we are all at home, not all of you may have paint uh, like us. We don't actually have any paint at our house, but we do have an easy paint recipe here. All it is is equal parts flour, salt, and water. So we just have one cup of flour, one cup of salt, and one cup of water that we'll be using. You can um, change that to tailor it to however much paint you would like to make. And then how we're coloring it is with food coloring. This is a gel base, but you can always use the drops or whatever kind of food coloring you have at home. First, Cora, I need you to scoop me one cup of flour, please. Okay. Put it in our bowl. There's our one cup of flour. Ooh, we're just gonna make it. Yeah, perfect. Okay, pour it in. Okay, do you guys remember what the last ingredient is? Water. All right, and now Cora, you can mix. Mix a mixer. Ready? E kahi, e lua. E kolu, e ha. Use your big muscles. E lima, e ono, e hiku, e valu, e iva, umi. My kai. Kumanessa switched to the whisk so she can get all the lumps out. Now the fun part, we're going to color our white paint here. So I'm gonna put it into three individual bowls. Okay, pour it in and then stir it around. Ooh, what happens when you stir it? Look at that. What's happening, Eliana? It's like strawberry jam. Okay, this is Cora making the blue one. Blue blue. That is beautiful ocean blue right there. So today, some of the materials we're going to use um, for our fish is some old cardboard that we have. And we just went ahead and we cut out our fish stencil with it, or fish paper. Um, another resource that you probably have at home is paper bags. So you just open this up and then this fish over here was cut on a paper bag. And then maybe you might have some old poster boards. This is like an old poster. Um, so you can use that as your sheet to make your stencil out of that. Okay, we got our painting section set up. So we have some scratch paper on the ground uh, with our fish cutouts on the top of that. And we're also doing it on the tile. So just in case it gets on the ground, we can clean it up easier. And now we get to choose our stamps. These are the things we're gonna be using, or you can use to stamp with. So I have a regular, um, thanks Cora, a potato masher. So you can dip that in the paint and use that to print on your fish. Um, I just have a round bottle, you can print with that. These are the tea leaf stocks. So I just cut off the tea leaf bottom and then this will make like a scale looking shape. Um, another round cap, toilet paper roll, you can stamp with that. And then this is the bag from your cuties you buy at the store. And if you put it, um, cut it, put it in a paper towel, then you can use it, or put a paper towel in it, you can use it to stamp also. Okay, we got our stamps all laid out, our paint all laid out, our cakey all laid out. Who's ready to paint? Me! The bottle cap. Okay, families, now that you have all of our ideas of how to do your eat of stamping just remember that it's the process not the product for our cakey we want them to be engaged in educational activities while doing while spending lots of time at home with all of us with all of our families remember to just make use best use of this quality time with your cakey and enjoy lots of different fun activities with them 
I'll be home. We'll see you. Sweaty. Sweaty. <laughs> Hopefully. Enjoy your activities today and remember to try your own at home. We had so much fun doing this with you guys today. Aloha. I'll be home.